Tonight, U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts issued a temporary stay on the expiration of Title 42. The Trump administration policy put into effect during the pandemic allowed migrants to be expelled without letting them request asylum. It was set to lift on Wednesday. Several Republican-led states, including Texas, filing an appeal to the nation's highest court Monday seeking to keep Title 42 in effect. It's going to be catastrophic not just for Texas, but for the United States of America. Buses carrying dozens more migrants rolled into New York City this morning as Mayor Eric Adams warned that the possible lifting of Title 42 this week would lead to a surge of asylum seekers and overwhelm the city's already overburdened systems. We are building out that which is within our span of control, but we need help from the federal and state government. Border cities scrambling to find shelter for thousands of migrants as temperatures continue to drop. City officials in El Paso, Texas, Texas declaring a state of emergency. The White House is asking Congress for three and a half billion dollars in funding to assist with the influx of asylum seekers and says there is already an historic number of Department of Homeland Security agents at the border. DHS has deployed additional agents and uh, processing capabilities to El Paso and 23,000 agents are working to secure the southern border. U.S. Border Patrol made a record 2.2 million apprehensions along the southern border this past budget year. A White House spokesperson says the administration has a, quote, robust effort underway to safely manage the border once the policy ends. In New York, Alexis Christophorus, ABC News. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.